Hey guys, so there's two technologies that I really like, 3D graphics and Node.js. And in this case, we're using Unity 3D for the 3D portion. And what I'm doing with Node.js, as you can see on this screen, and I'm going to click and move my character. And you can see when I do that, we're getting a move request. And this is all done with Socket.io. And I have a bunch of different clients here. So you can see I can click anywhere and it's all working in real time. So this is just kind of a proof of concept and I just like the simplicity of Node.js and Socket.io. I mean the entire server is on a single page here. You can see I've got the Socket.io on connection and then we're handling disconnect, we're handling player registration and then finally a move. And this is semi server authoritative so the clients are actually computing the A star paths but the server can just check them and the reason I'm doing that is so that when I run the server for example on Heroku as I am right now so this is public actually I, I can connect with a client from anywhere um, but I don't want to do all that processing on my Heroku server. I'd rather do it on the client and then just check with another client to make sure that they're not cheating. That's kind of a workaround and it gets the clients to do most of the processing and the authoritative portion is just to check, not to actually calculate. So that's kind of a proof of concept I'm working on now. This is just a couple hours. And next what I'm doing is an attack. And as you can see here, I've got just a little console log for now. So I'm going to click on this cube, which is an enemy. And when we get close enough, we'll see that an attack is taking place. And then again, the server will just check to make sure they're close enough. And they'll do that with yet another player. So I might make a course out of this if it turns out well. Let me know in the comments if you guys think this is something you'd like to see.